What's up guys, today we are taking a look at Polestar sales data in Europe and USA from 2020 and 2021. The luxury EV brand is rumored to go public via potential SPAC, Gors Guggenheim, ticker symbol GGPI. Since Polestar is not a public company, at least at this point, this data is collected from several websites available on the internet and is not reported by Volvo Cars or parent company Geely Holdings. Neither this video is sponsored by anybody. I do not trust these numbers and I highly recommend you do your own research and use this data with a grain of salt. However, before we start, I want to disclose that I do have about 4000 of GGPI warrants at the time of recording of this video. So let's look into the sales data available to us. As per the article from wccftech.com, with 2020 revenue of over 600 million and a compelling product portfolio, the EV manufacturer Postal is a definitive buy, should it merge with SPAC, Gors Guggenheim, ticker symbol GGPI. As a refresher, Polestar is currently retailing two cars, the hybrid Polestar 1 that costs over $150,000 and the all-electric Polestar 2 that starts retailing at $59,900 and boast of a range of around 260 miles. In addition, the Polestar 3 SUV and the Polestar Precept, a Tesla Model S competitor, are currently in the prototype phase. The company is currently manufacturing its vehicle Geely owns facilities in China. However, the Polestar 3 would be produced in Volvo's facilities in Ridgeville, South Carolina in the USA. Kelly Blue Book report from Q1 2021 shows that 115 Polestar 2 were sold in the USA. These numbers are too low if you compare them with Tesla or any other EV automaker. I suppose Polestar 2 is still new to the USA market and has been gaining the required visibility since Bloomberg broke out the spec rumor. Uh, news uh, posts are going public via Gors Guggenheim GGPI. We also have reports coming from Medicine.com that Polestar 2 is among the top 10 best sedan lease deals for July 2021 and is leading over other sedans and getting the popularity in the retail space. Under the pros and cons sections of uh, Polestar 2, they reported uh, the sales in the first half of 2021 were just 259 units, including only 47 in month of June according to Motor Intelligence. Under the con section, they also reported that it's pretty pricey for a Volvo cars, meaning that, you know, Polestar 2 is pretty pricey as per this article. From the article carsalesbase.com, they are reporting that in 2020, 8,746 Polestar 2 were sold and 8,587 have been delivered in Europe until June 2021. As I said in the beginning of this video, I do not trust these numbers and highly recommend you do your own research and use this data with a grain of salt. If this rumor comes true, Polestar could be a better long-term investment and could do better than Lucid since they already have revenue over 600 million in 2020 and going to start Polestar 3 production in the USA starting 2022 as per the their press release. Alright guys, thanks for watching and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.